Hello! Today's lesson is all about ocean tides. At the end of this video, you will be able to describe how the moon's gravity causes low and high tides in our oceans. Have you ever wondered why sometimes at the beach, the water is high up on the sand and there's not much room to play, while at other times, the water is low and farther out and there's lots of room to the sand. We call this tides. But what caused the tides? How many tides do we have in a day? This video will help you answer these questions. First of all, we need to understand what tide is. A tide is not just the rise and fall of the ocean water. It is a movement of water caused by complex interactions between the gravitational force and rotational force of the Earth, Moon, and Sun. The combined forces cause the oceans to bulge out in the direction of the Moon. Or simply, tides caused by the pull of Moon's gravity, as what you see in the picture. The Earth rotates around its axis, thus the bulge is directly in line with the Moon, due to the fact that Moon is the closest neighbor that has also gravity. We call this end-to-end -end bulging when the Moon is above the ocean as high tides. Therefore, oceans in parts of the Earth between the two high tides will have lower water levels which we call low tides. Every beach, there is usually low tide and a high tide each day. Since the Earth rotates a few times faster than the water bulge, therefore the solid Earth moves towards the water bulge. Observing the tide from the Earth, you might think that the water goes to the Earth's surface, where in fact, it's the Earth's surface that meets the water bulge. Now you know what tides are and how it occurs. And that ends our lesson for today. Please don't forget to remember these words, tides, high tides, and low tides. For your homework, please answer workbook pages 90 to 91. And for more videos, please hit the bell button below and subscribe. My name is Ms. Have a great day and goodbye.